Hey guys, this is me of Shake with another one of my videos. In this video, we're going to be learning about UI Alert View in Xcode 4.2. So let's go ahead and launch Xcode. Let's create a new project. Let's use a single view application. Go ahead and click Next. I'm going to name it UI Alert View. Create it. So you might be thinking that we're going to add the buttons in the storyboard like a basic application. But no, for UI Alert View, you need to type in all of the code. So let's go into viewcontroller.m. You could delete all this, we won't be using it. So let's, let's use a void. Void. Type in view did load. Go ahead, put a curly braces, enter. And then you're going to want to type in UI alert view, star, and for, um, you could type in whatever you want. I'm just going to use alert. It's just basically what it's going to, what keyword it's going to use to bring up the alert view on your iPhone or I, iPad, but we're going to be doing it for iPhone right now. Same thing for iPad too. So equal and then put double square bracket UI alert view a look and then end bracket and type in in it and it should come up in it with title go ahead click enter for the in it with title we're gonna put welcome go ahead click enter for the message we're gonna put um this is UI alert view go ahead enter the delegate is what it's gonna be doing put it for self the cancel button put it to OK and for other buttons I'll teach you later in this video but we won't be using it for right now and when you when it has a comma already there so make sure you delete that, otherwise you get an error. Then put an end square bracket, semicolon. Go ahead, press enter. Square brackets, alert. Show. End square brackets, and then the semicolon. So let's go ahead and see what this does. Click run, and we'll launch in the simulator. And there you go. Welcome, this is a UI alert view. And then our cancel button, OK. So you might be saying, OK, I have my UI alert view. But what if I wanted to, I would click the button and I wanted to take it to another UI alert view. So this is what you're going to do. Put another void. And then go ahead, type in alert view. And then in parentheses, UI UI alert view, put a star, parentheses, action sheet, and then put in click, click button, button at, at index. index and then go ahead put parentheses ns integer another parenthesis and put in button button index that's going to be our keyword and then put another curly braces go press, press enter let's put an if statement if statement and then put parentheses button index let's put equal to zero another parentheses curve braces again and then let's put the UI alert view. I'm just gonna copy the one from the top just to save time okay go ahead I normally see where we put the star alert I normally add something just so I don't get confused so I know which is which Make sure you change that star and the alert show so you don't get any errors. 
So in it with title, we're going to put, let's see, button index. Index. And then for the message, put you clicked zero. And so let's go ahead and click run. There you go. Welcome to you. This is a UI alert view. Click OK. Button index, you click zero. So that's what that extra thing is. Now I'm going to show you the other buttons. So go ahead, go up where we had the first one. Put at sign, quotation, and let's put button button one and then another you have to put commas to separate them at sign quotation button two then comma and then let's go ahead and run this so now always the first one the first button is always button index one the second is button index two and so on and then your cancel button is always button index zero. So thank you for watching, guys, and see, see you next time. And visit obi.org for more videos. See you later.